Before you begin working on your PCB design, it's important you understand how SOLIDWORKS PCB organizes your design files with projects. All of the separate, distinct files in your PCB design process, including schematics, board layouts, and output documentation, are housed under a single, unified project structure for easy reference. Now that we understand how projects work, let's make our own in the file menu. When creating a project, you can choose from a number of available templates or create your own. In our example, we'll start with a blank PCB project. Now that your project structure is created, you can easily add documents to it under the project panel. With your project structure in place, we can now move on to configuring specific design rules. We always recommend setting your rules before starting the design process as it removes any worry of staying in compliance with manufacturing specific guidelines. These can all be configured under the Home panel by selecting the Design Rule option. Rules are organized into specific categories to make finding and changing rules quick and easy. When you've finished your schematic, you'll then want to sync all of your components with your PCB document. But first, we need to check for errors with the Compile option under the Projects icon. Any errors found in your schematic will display in the Errors panel, and you can quickly identify an error visually with a powerful cross-probing function, which highlights and zooms in on the selected error. As you move along in your design process, a unified design environment keeps your project on track and in sync. Switching between schematic capture and PCB layout is an instantaneous process. You'll notice that the interface you have become familiar with during your schematic capture is the same in your PCB layout, keeping you at your most efficient.